Hey guys, welcome back to Installer's Assistant. Uh, today I have a 2011 Ford Territory and I'm putting in the rear dash camera. Uh, now with the Ford Territories, they have a split rear door where you can open up the glass separately. Because of this, putting a rear dash cam on, you can't put it in the middle like normal because there's no way to hide the wires. So we normally put it in the corner about there okay I'll follow around. the problem is getting the wire through here typically most people will run a wire straight through but because this opens and closes you're never going to get it quite right so a friend of mine called Craig he's had a look at this problem for a little while and he came up with a solution which he says works really really well in these cars using heat so I thought what a great way to find out so today we are going to use this technique to create a curl in this cable to mimic this and come out the other side. So let's have a crack at it. What I've done is I've designed it where I'm going to put my camera, which is about there. I've also put a zip tie around the end because the cable loops on its own and it will ultimately get caught in here. So this is just to keep the cable out of the way once the camera has been mounted. I've also put a bit of tape on the end here just so that I know where I intend to start my curl. Okay, so according to Craig, all we need is to get ourselves one of these things, it's like a half inch, and we tape the end up. And then we move the coil. So this coil goes around clockwise. We're going to do the same thing. I'm not exactly sure how many coils we need. That'll probably do it. Okay. And then I'll put some tape around the end here. to hold it in place okay and then with a heat gun it says heat it up obviously not to the point where we melt the um the coating so i've got this air gun on the high setting air guns on the high setting but rather than just holding it direct and applying direct heat if you shake it you'll get a better heat over a better area without any problems Okay, so that's quite hot to touch now, and you can see the colour difference between the uh, matte finish over here and a slight shine coming through. So getting a bit of heat in that, and now we let it cool down. Once it's cool, we can undo it and poke it through. 
So let's uh, give it a few minutes to cool down and we'll come back to it. All right, so we've done the heating part of our cable. Now the first time I did it, I used a half inch, um, which is what it looked like when Craig showed me his pictures. But clearly I should have thought it through because that will not fit inside our coil. So having spent all that time doing that one, I undid it and now I'm using a screwdriver with that a lot smaller shaft and I've reheated it and recooled it. So let's undo this and check out the result. That is a pretty cool result. So we're going to plan. I'll run it through there. This coil. slide quite nicely. Inside the other coil. You know what? That's not a bad result. I like it. and attach that to the window there we should be golden Put that on. Okay, so you can see my zip tied around the corner here and why it's necessary to keep that out of the way. But as far as the um, the coil goes, let's uh, close the hatch. That's the bottom one. And look at that. That is quite nice. I like it. Cool. Um, that theory works quite nicely. So uh, thank you Craig for sending me that uh, that tip on how to coil the cable through the back of a forward territory. It's working very well. Uh, thanks for watching guys. There's plenty more videos online of different cars and different installation tips and techniques. By all means, check it out. Uh, subscribe for me. If you click the notification buttons anytime I do a new vehicle, it will also show up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.